for Sunday. Any scene is possible. Coffee scene made three of them. Migrated three times. And people followed because we called that home. And every person that you see here is homegrown in a sense. Like, opportunities were not made for us to just have. Opportunities have been for us to share. And I think it's hard to do so when you forget the roots of where you come from because things have made you deeply rooted at that process. There was a moment when all I wanted to do was just rock out and read poems and stay in the background. And by some weird design, I end up becoming more than what I wanted to be. And it scares me. It scares me because for every right I do, there's always a wrong. For every two faces I make smile, there's always one face I make upset. For everything I give my all to, there's always something that ends up being sacrificed. And sometimes I just want to hide in a closet and not even come back out. I've seen the decimation of a thriving community split into two separate sections. To come back together, to split again. And this cycle is always finding itself repeating. And I wish the record would just play to the good parts, but it seems like the record keeps skipping to that same part when the bad keeps reminding you that it's always there. It reminds me of Waka Flocka Gucci Man lyrics that always keep repeating in your head. And you know the stuff is so dumb, but when you hear so many things in repetition and see stuff in repetition, it sticks to your middle. And it's sad. Because we keep reliving our own past hurt and past mistakes. And we know it's wrong right when we see it. But we make ourselves blind and walk right into it just as most of the time complain when we go right through the same stuff we made to begin with. I don't know any of y'all. Well, I know a few of you. I'm about to say what? But I know a few of you. <laughs> but in the sense of everything, this is probably one of the moments when I feel the safest because this world is so ugly. And the generation that we see on a day-to-day -day basis don't get the same things that we grew up on, those same principles. You can't even listen to music nowadays that gives you the messages that it used to be, telling you how to love, how to uplift your community, talk about self-destruction and how we're all in the same game. Now it's talking about you need to be in the game or you need to just make love and be that secondary side piece and glorify that. Which is funny because I never understood the reason why a show I don't watch had became every single woman's anthem because scandal is the weirdest thing about everybody celebrating inside <laughs> you. What? Out, what show? Scandal. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> but these are things, but this is the reason why I don't watch TV as much. You'll catch me watching a rerun of Angry Beavers or In Living Color, even because there's old stuff, even old deaf comedy jams, because that was some substance in it. Some. Excuse me. I look at Neil. The Godfather of Poetry. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and I look at Radar. And? As the mob boss of poetry. <laughs> and, the only, and the thing that makes this so unique because you have a plate of opportunity in all these artists that just simmer here and everything will not be the way it is unless you add something to it to give it that extra zing. So it's only right for in the coffee scene for this plate that you're getting from these artists to bring you something that fill your soul that you can take home, that when that hunger is there, it's good that you have salt and pepper. <laughs> like I said, I'm scared of everything that's gonna go on. I don't know what's going to happen when I sit back down at this table and get on my laptop and put on Facebook. I just did a freestyle about something that probably had nothing to do with anything. 
But then again, there might be one person in here that says you hit on something that nobody will talk about on a given day basis anyway. So then maybe it was by design, because I'm a firm believer that whether everything is scripted or it's unscripted, it's all a part of God's will. Thank you. Yeah.